Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Quick Solvers. Here I want to find x and y where we have x plus y equals 7 and x squared plus y squared is 37. This is a good question for you if preparing for SAT or ACT and the difficulty level of this question is easy. Uh, well, one easy solution is to go through the options here and replace x and y by the numbers offered by each option, by each choice. For example, here A, it says x is 2, y is 5. I replace x by 2, y by 5, and it says this condition is met. But if I replace x and y by 2 and 5 in the second equation, then we see that the, the equation or the condition is not met. That means this is not the right answer. So this is, of course, a very good and a smart way to find the answer, but it works usually, or, or it is um, time efficient if uh, the equations are not complex. If the equations are complex or the numbers are large, for example, x is, I don't know, 125, y is 246, I mean, then it's not easy to replace x and y by all the options to find the answer. I mean, it's not time uh, efficient it's it's time consuming in that case it's usually better to solve the equations and try to simplify them so I, I'll here try to sim to further simplify this to these two uh, to see how it would help well we already know x plus y is 7 x squared plus y squared is 37 so I'll try to use these two information and we also know that x plus y squared is x squared plus y squared plus 2 times x times y, okay? Here we know this. We know this is 7, x plus y. We know this is 37. And the only thing that we don't know is x times y. So I'll try to isolate x times y. And for that, I'll take these two terms to the left. Then we have, maybe it's better to remove this. Then we have x plus y squared minus x squared plus y squared equals 2 times x times y. And then I divide each side by 2. So these two and these two cancel out each other. And I can directly write it like this. Or I know this equals to, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, we, can, we can swap. We can swap these two. We can swap this whole term to take it to the right side and take this to the left side and we don't need to change the sign of any term here. So I can say x times y equals this. And now I replace x plus y and x squared plus y squared by the number that we have. We get 7 squared minus 37 divided by 2. This equals 12 over 2, which is 6. And this is telling me that we already knew x plus y is 7, and now we know x times six, x times y is 6. And by, by this, I'm trying to say that sometimes we can simplify the second or maybe the whole expression. And this is now easier if you want to uh, plug x and y by the numbers you've got here. This is much easier than this, especially if the numbers are large. You can further simplify this. Uh, for example, here, x times y, x times y is 6. This is telling me that x and y both should be either positive or negative. Okay, so from this, I can say x and y should be positive or x and y both should be negative. But since their sum is positive, then they both cannot be negative. Okay, this is another information we got. X plus Y is 7, X times Y is 6, and X and Y both should be, should be positive. And in this case, that means D cannot be the, the answer. Okay, and if I continue, well, we know there are a few options that can uh, meet at this one of the two, the two condition. X and Y should be either 1 and 6, or 3 and 4, or 2 and 5, okay? Then you have these three sets. You can plug into these two and see which one works. And that's actually this one. So the right answer is C. Uh, 